Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are bringing you some more RTR Imperium Serectum, and this episode hopefully will be better than the last. <laughs> hopefully, we shall see, but there's plenty of battles to do to start with, so it's going to be an action-packed episode. Last time, we went against Pergamon, and we weren't quite prepared for the pain that they would bring to us, so unfortunately we lost a couple of battles there. Uh, but we are going to try and sneak through and take Mytilene. That should be quite good. The only problem with this is we are opening ourselves up to the Ptolemies on another front by doing this. But hopefully we can uh, move around and, you know, uh, take a few take a few cities. Especially these ones with the Wonders. Uh, the Temple of Artemis is, is not that brilliant. But the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, construction times by 20%. That's really going to help with our military style... Um, Occupation buildings, as you can see, level 3 is, is 12 turns, and I believe the next level after that is, is 16 turns or something like that. So, um, uh, yeah, so that will really help with reducing those times. So it would be good to take it, uh, and I can't wait. We shall see. But first things first, guys, we have plenty of battles to do. I think we're going to open up with a fun battle. Battle... Uh, of the Romphia, Falksman Infantry once again. I don't think we need to take these boyos. Um, so let's go. Attack! Fight them across the river. And we will just scare them off. I'm surprised that they have stood and fought, really. Uh, because our Falksman will destroy them, guys. Like we've seen before. Anyway, guys. I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. And uh, let's wait. So it looks... Ah, uh, there we are. Nice and clear now. Nice and clear. I don't care about our tales of bravery. I just care about scaring the bejesus out of these guys. And it really doesn't matter where we go. Because these guys are just fantastic. <laughs> I think it's just the combined effect of uh, their scariness. I mean, you guys can come here as well, but pointless. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all we need to do. <laughs> we don't need to do anything else. You guys in. Like, we don't need to do anything else. They will just all route once we've done this. <laughs> so let's speed it up. Get them. They're surely going to route soon. Okay, they're actually uh, sticking around for longer than I expected. Oh, they're getting shredded, though. Kill the Hoplites. Let's try and kill their general, and then I think the scared, the scariness will uh, have a bigger effect. See, these guys are shaken. Not as strong in this battle as they have been, and I'm not sure why. Maybe because they're in a bigger block than they were before. Sindian infantry, Thracian Peltas. Let's go into that blob, boys. Into the blob we go. Oh, there we are. That's That was it. We'll kill the Bosper and Hoplites then. Oh, good charge, my boys. They've got to be withdrawing, surely, those horse archers. So let's try and come across that. Uh, and then the rest of the cavalry. Let's get into these boys. Beat it up. There we are. Killed the enemy general. So I've experimented with uh, putting the um, music up, guys. So please do let me know if it's too loud. Um, obviously, I hope it's not, but we shall see. I'll uh, end the battle there then. 180 they killed, which is surprisingly large. But these guys, they're just so scary. <laughs> scary boys. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map ready for another battle. Here we are, guys. And, of course, it was a glorious victory. Now, very likely they're going to attack this one. Uh, because we've got all our troops in here. But, oh well. Oh well. That's all I can say. Surprised we didn't get a... Uh, well, no, actually. It wasn't that great a battle. So, probably worth not getting a general out of that. Uh, Byzantium. Right, we do have plenty more battles, guys. I think... Do we go for the big one first? Let's go for the big one. 
Ooh, Romance! And I'm hoping we get a good battle map this time. <laughs> we'll see. Com uh, Campanian Cavalry and Equites, as well as their general. Or two Equites, so Cavalry Dominance is going to be an issue for us. They have no archers, that's fine. We'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. It's a big battle. There's every chance we lose this. So we'll take it nice and slow and try and be careful. So guys, I will see you on, hopefully, very good battle map, but we'll see. Here we are. Okay. Not the greatest of battle maps. Too many trees for my liking. Um, and who do we have? We have Eumelus the Handsome. See whether you remain handsome after this battle, my friend. Um, <laughs> a little hut. A little hut. A wooden hut. Oh, that's lovely. It's nice to see. <sighs> of course, we don't like fighting in these goddamn woods. Uh, you get there. It's hard to see. So we'll keep... Uh, the army out in the open, hopefully. They might be hiding as well. That's the other thing. You us, my boy. And I'll keep all the cavalry together for now. Let's see whether we can see where they are. Likely, they will go to this hill, I'm assuming. Can we force them into engaging us? That's Now, that's, that is a question that we can ask. And shall ask, because how good would it be to be able to stand here and fight them? So what I might do, I might try and force them into action. Uh, we'll go a bit more severe with that angle. Or we'll go like this. Yeah, get there, boys. Right hand uh, flanking one there. I kind of wish we had some stronger flanking units. Because at the minute, we don't really. The Skiritai are just not strong enough to be a flanking unit for us. Let's get there. Let's get our cavalry here as well. Alright, oh, speed it up. I know I said I was going to be slow. Uh, our archers are relatively fast. I, I don't think there's a problem with them coming up to here. Maybe, well, maybe the problem is that they can't quite got the range. Quite have the range. And we can't... Also cannot see them. That's a problem. So let's get our cavalry. Now back out, now back out, now back out. Go! I would like you to run. One of them got javied. Really hard to see in these trees. Keep firing, boys. Don't care about those velites. Speed it up. There's a certain percentage that will force them to attack. I don't believe we've reached it yet. Okay. Kill that Velites. How many we killed then? Not many. I believe it's 15%. I don't want to spend all our ammunition firing at goddamn Velites, really. But. Okay, that's better. Keep moving your army, Romans. That's fine. Honestly happy to just fire at them until we run out of ammo. It's not a problem. We still have no Velites left. <laughs> They'll have been a bit reduced. Not hugely reduced. I mean, if they're not going to move, I think it's time to, uh, to make a move then ourselves. They'll readjust so we can actually see where they are in that. Right, archers, you're going to be no use, these guys. So, uh, get you off the battlefield. 
I hope you don't become the uh, the stopping point. Okay, fire at those Velotes now then. Might as well use all the ammo. Right, you as well. Get off. Uh, General, let's go. Should group you up. This is the edge of the map. So, very unlikely we're going to get flanked. So, let's move forward, boys. Uh, and you, Melus, you handsome devil. Come down here. We'll put it on normal speed now. And cavalry's going to have to come this side. Hmm. Still don't see them. It's excellent. <laughs> That's what we like, not being able to see our enemy. March through the trees, boys. March through the trees. There. You guys get here. So the Velites will be in front of their main army. Attacking with Phalangites is always tough. Right man, go there. Left man, go here. You Melus, get in the middle, my boy. Okay, group one. It's going to have to be a certain time when we uh, tell you to... Put your phalanx on. Which is probably very soon. Judging it. Let's go. Phalanx. Goes through. You guys, let's go. March that way. You guys are already engaged. You guys kind of fill this gap. Where are these boyos? Right, cavalry, time for you to get round. They've uh, kind of suicided their cavalry into my phalanx. It's going to be tough to see how we're doing. Oh, God, that's not good. Eumelus, he's going for Eumelus. But these guys need to be in phalanx, boys. Let's uh, get moving if we can. Get through. Okay, these guys are doing well. Like you. Can get there. That would be ideal. Get. Get there. Run. It's really hard to see anything, boys. <laughs> Okay, cavalry's getting killed. That's good to see. I like you there. They now nah, cavalry. Get in the back of these prinker bays. Then all down the line, how are we doing? We're doing okay. Some units under some serious pressure, like this one. Killed that companion cavalry. I think you're going to have to come and fill this gap. Now you guys get up there. God, this is a uh, micro hell, boys. Micro hell. Oh, broken them. Good. Now back out. Now you guys walk that way. Then we'll like you guys to get here. Yeah, there is some of our units taking serious damage. Uh, who are you? A Hastati unit. Let's try and go through them. I don't think our cavalry is heavy enough to go through them. But we can try. We can try. Yeah, we're doing damage. Just not a huge amount. We're taking damage there, though. Right, let's get back. Got some uh, tight spaces to squeeze into here. Phalanx, boys. That's their general. What is he doing? To come this way. Get moving. Get flanking them. View boys. Phalanx quick. Good. Got that just in time. These Prinkapays are in the way. Let's get over there. See whether we can charge some people on this right hand flank. You have taken serious damage, haven't you, my boy? 
Kill those goddamn equites. You guys are standing well. You guys are also doing quite well. We knew there was going to be serious damage in this. Halt. Phalanx, squeeze these guys to death. They should die now quite, quite handily. Guys, put your phalanx down. There we are. That should really break that guy. Cavalry. Oh, God, the, the Asati's come back. So let's get in the back of this Prinker base. Let's go. This bit's a little bit more open. We can kind of see this bit. Hoping we break these guys with this glorious charge. Come on, the Spartan Cav. Oh, my lordy lord. That was one hell of a charge, boyos. All right, another one. Double charge. Crush them against the pikes. That's all we need and all we want from you, my friends. Okay, they're flanking us here. That's not ideal. Get moving, boyos. I think we're controlling this relatively well, honestly. This sort of middle's had a, an absolute battering, but everyone else we seem to be doing quite well with. I don't know why you're facing this way, but I guess that's where the enemy mainly is right now. That's fine. Okay, we got rid of them. Let's get these Prinker Pays now, then. Let's go! Come on, boys. Nice. Surely we're going to break them. One sec, guys. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit more. Just because on my, uh, on my recording software, it's coming up as pretty loud. So... But if it was the right amount, this one Prinkerpe, he lives. He lives. Over here now, boys. Let's go. Come on, kill this guy. Then they will all break and the charges. Getting some experience, I'm hoping, from this battle. Let's get a rally off you, Melis, you handsome devil. Let's get these guys right in the back. Come on, that's got to be a better charge than that, surely. Okay, broke one of the equites. How about this uh, brink of phase? Now they're still steady. Ah, uh, there we are. Might break now. Yeah, now they break instantly. Kill them. The Battle of the Forest. The Battle of the Roman Woods. Okay, you guys come back. Come back this way. Sometimes when you order them to move, they hit the enemy and then don't move anymore. Then sometimes they just move completely. Who are you? Where's the cab? Quick, quick dab into these uh, Prinker Bays. Let's go. Oh, wait. We, we lost some men charging down routing men. That's surprising. Right, boys, back here now. Back here. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Van Dabby Dozy. What a word. Let's. Uh, nah, this Astarte is the better option there. Cavalry, you have been our saviors today. How many have they lost? Oh, God. It's a lot closer than I was expecting. Honestly, I. I haven't felt like it was too much of an issue, this battle. Like, the whole way through. But maybe that's just because I can't see it properly. <laughs> With the trees. We'll charge these Prinker Bays next. That'll be the next option. Into those boys. Come on, boys. Get them rousing. Wavering. Broken now. So kill them all while they're broken. Then we'll come back out this way. Then we have the Hastati and the Hastati. And what are these? Prinker Bays. Cool. Whew. 
Ooh, it's closer than I was expecting. Honestly, didn't feel like it, though. It felt fine. <laughs> and, oh, I guess there's this flank is a bit screwed. All you boyos, just in case. I'm going to bring you this way. You actually need to attack them. I guess the uh, the phalangites are pretty damaged. It's a starty wavering. Come on, don't let them don't let them fire off their jabbies, boys. Right now, straight into them. To the back of these prinker bays. Chaos in the woods, eh? Chaos in the woods. Oh, Hastati. How nice to see you again. That instantly broken. Now into those guys. This poor cavalry are just doing all the heavy lifting here. That was not the charge we wanted nor needed. Get you guys here. This poor unit needs some support, boys. You're knackered as well. Everyone's tired from the fighting. Makes sense. Let's get this side. Come on, boys. I know you're exhausted. One final showdown. Maybe they got left. 17. We need to kill these units and, and ch chase them down in order to uh, fully destroy this army. Let's go. Go, 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 go. And then... Right about now. Now. Boom. Oh, enjoy that, boys. Enjoy that. Final unit. I think, at least I, what I think is the final unit. Let's get moving. Surely that's them broken. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Let's speed it up. Well done, boys. Who's this unit? Some Astarte. Go get them. Just to make sure that we fully destroy it. I mean, it says that they've only got 8%, but it, it doesn't count the ones off the, off the battlefield, so we might not fully destroy them if we don't kill this unit. So let's make sure. Well, it honestly felt easier than it was. Like... I don't know, like, I never felt like we were going to lose when we were playing the battle. But, clearly there was a chance because the, the, it was so close. Ah, phalangites, just, some of them just not standing up. Some of them doing well, a lot of them just not standing up at all. Everything has come from our cavalry there. Look, they're all pretty much in the negative KDs, our phalangites. And that's what happens when you attack with them. Amazing in defense, not so great in attack. Especially in a tricky attacking situation like that. But anyway, we won. Glory for you, Melus the Handsome. And uh, we'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Right, guys. Victory. And they are fully, fully destroyed. Fantastic to see. So this army is pretty brutal, brutally broken. But I honestly I don't see a problem... With, like, going for Benonia or something with it. And if we lose a couple of units, that's fine. We did gain some experience on some of these units. So it would be nice to keep them. But we'll keep them safe, the ones that are too small. Or try to, anyway. Try to is, is the main keyword there. But you, Mellus, well done. Your first glorious battle. Um, very, very good. Very nice to see. So, we've done that battle. We're not going to do this one at Aquincum. We're not going to do this one up here at Suggestica. Um, we're not doing this one at Asanka. We've done the one against the Bosporans. Down here we can't move. In terms of um, armies getting retrained and stuff, we're not got any currently for retraining, have we? We also have you ready to go. And... Got anyone else coming back for retraining? No, I think everyone's kind of in action right now, which is good. Uh, but we do have two battles to do here. We've got the battle for Panormus, and we've got the battle for Syracuse. Now, generally, 
take a little bit long, these siege battles. But if I auto-resolve, it will just give us an obscene amount of casualties. So... Yeah, I'm happy to play this. It's Prinatadas' first battle, is it? Or is it his second? I think second. Potentially second. Uh, but they have nothing. So, we'll just use our normal tactic. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the glorious battle map. Right, guys. I don't think it'd be that bloody. Sound the horns, yes. That is no orc horn. Um, so they've got the very upgraded walls. Mm, we need to make sure that our siege tower doesn't get destroyed. And I think the best place will be... Drop those. Need uh, also the rams. The rams, rams are pointless on this size of, of city. So, I will have one here, going for there. I'm also going to have one here, because I think it will only get shot by this tower. So, a lot less likely to burn up. Um, and then, do we want to go through that gate? I know if I don't split them, one of them will burn and we'll only have access to, let's say, this gate or something. So, we might as well get that. You guys go there. Then we got the general, and we got you boys there as well. So let's go for it. Going there. You are nice and close already, aren't you? So let's speed it up, boys. Whoop! Let's speed it up, get it a bit quicker. Very nice looking city, Syracuse. Right next to the seat, ready to go. Looking very cool. Okay, good. That one's reached the walls. And that one has. Fantastic. Crush the defenders. Oh, okay. Getting me hyped up, bro. I will crush them. If you really want me to crush them, I will crush them. Crush them like little rocks. What? That doesn't make sense. Okay, you up. And I also want to get you up. Uh, if you can go there, you just take those and then come back and stand here, ready to fire at the boyos. Uh, and you guys, when you're up, now you should be firing. Halt. You guys halt as well. You guys get there. There we are, that's better. Halt as well. Now you guys, if you guys got there, for example, that would be perfect. We can do this just with the archers, would be fantastic. But it doesn't look like he's going to accept his fate. So let's bring in uh, Prinatadas. Is that three of you guys? Yes, it is. Fantastic. And uh, we'll get you guys there as well, if we can. We should only need that that amount of troops. And he is going to bring his troops forward. Cretan archers, please do. That will be excellent. As well as your general. I would love to see that. When you're in place. Oh, yeah, the boys. Okay, the Cretans are already firing, really. Really? They can, they can fire from back there. And we'll uh, get you guys there. I just need them to come forward a little bit. And we should have range. Just a little bit. Get over there then. And you guys there. Hopefully he'll bring them forward. He does. He does. Okay, now they're coming. Now they're in range. We can come back and reestablish dominance. Slightly worried about this general, but he's already hardly... He's half dead. Abdashum the mad, and he is truly mad. Charging our general. While getting shot to pieces. That's what we like to see. What a boy. 
What a mad bastard. He's already broken. Shocking. And the Cretans will be done soon. So we just need to speed this up. Might as well use my uh, my general. Oh, God, they're firing from all the way over there. There he is. The madman is dead. Good. There we are. Fantastic. We got it. We got through it real, relatively quick as well, which was nice. Uh, archers took a bit of damage. That's it. No one got experience, of course. Tiny battle. But Syracuse is ours, guys. That's the, that's the key thing. And uh, we will see you once again, guys, on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And once again, we shall enslave. And it's just surprising to me. Why... I'm guessing Syracuse starts out with a large stone wall. Because I was going to say, they can't build it as a minor city. So, interesting that <laughs> they got to start out with it. Um, and Masana's kind of unhappy. We need some more Cryptia. Let's uh, get them ready to come across. Let's go. Nice. A new merchant, really? 66 as well. Do what you want, bro. <laughs> He's from Syracuse. He's all the way in North Germania. Wow, you've traveled a long way, my friend. A long, long way. So, next one, Panormus. But, oh wait, Panormus has got a plague. Uh, I'm willing to wait, because I would not like to take that plague... <laughs> I'd really not like to have that plague at all. Are these guys at war still or not? That's that's one question. Uh, Syracuse. It would be nice if we could move you out to get you to Lilybium. Sicily is going to be an easy conquest. Quick, con quick conquest for us. Um, here's a different story. Let's leave that for now. They might attack us still. Ah, yeah. We were sending a guy to uh, Rome. Ah, okay. We should have enough to beat them back. It's not a big army, is it? But it's a bit annoying. We've moved our defensive army into offense mode. And uh, <laughs> they come and attack. Are you going to attack my crypt here, are you? Well, well done, Suebi. You're very clever. Ah, wait. They, they dropped the siege at Sanka. Poor Seuss. Is it Seuss that's in there? I think it's Seuss. <laughs> Poor Seuss. His whole life has been under siege. Ah, we knew this was going to happen. That's fantastic. And we can just defend. We don't need to go forward. Oh, they've got a lot of their faction here. Their faction leader. Another Scipio. Appius. Uh, sorry, Aulus Cornelius Scipio. Gnaeus Cornelius Merula is over here, who's a general. And we've also got Appius Fabius Picta as well. Cool. Well, I don't see how they think they can win this. They do have cavalry dominance, but I just, I just don't see how they think they can win this. They, they can't. <laughs> they cannot win this. <laughs> so, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. <laughs> Look at that hill. Finally. Yes, we won't. Finally. Glorious. Problem with that road is, where's the city? I cannot see a city. So I'm thinking, if they're going to come in here. That that would be excruciatingly annoying, honestly. But we shall at least take this hill. And if they do come in there, we'll just box them in. And. Because they did not look like they were going to come in from there on the uh, on the campaign map. And uh, of course we have a UI on another legendary commander. Okay, they are coming from the left there. So I think we... Uh, how far back? I don't want to go too far back, but... That's as far as we can go. So, what... I think you can get up on the steep a bit. Get there. Archers. You are you have a lovely position here, Archers now. That's your job. 
And we can use, we'll use our flanking boys on the left hand flank. Uh, if anything, we kind of want to curve around a bit. A bit more of a defensive position. So let's get like that. And we'll also have the U boys there as well. You, I'm on. You can come up here. Nice bit of defensive uh, positioning here. We've got all this space back here, of course. So we've just got to be careful they don't come through that gap. So with that in mind, we'll have our cavalry stand there. Oh, look at this. Glorious position for the archers. Looks like one of them's already to fire. Firing at the Tribunus Militum. Fortunately, we have to fire through trees, though, because it blocks off some of the arrows. Which one is that? Which one is that? Ah, Abbe Appius Fabius picked up. He's broken, but... Wish we could kill him. Where is he? Don't believe he's one of them. He's here. Kill him! Guys! Kill him! Come on! Hit him! Don't let him escape! Kill him! Come on! He's taking damage now! Kill him! We're going straight for this right flank. They're really not happy about this right... Surely him dead, isn't it? It is. Good. Come on, Romans. Oh. Big Tribunus Militum coming now. The faction leader. Glorious charge of the Romans. Has being repelled. Come on, boys. Hold. Hold. Hold the phalanx. As arrows fly overhead. Another Tribunus Militum. Where's this army? This army. See, they should have attacked together. They would have a chance. Okay. This is going to be tough to hold up here. But I think we can do it. Just worried about that cav. That cav loves to push through. Where's the old general? Let's get you back here, boy. You I'm on my boy with your gold experience making you an absolute boss boy. The archers continue to fire. Fire my boys. Firing at the equites. I like that. That's what I like to see. Ah, so their uh, the cavalry can't get through their own troops. So that's excellent for us. Come on the officer. Look how glorious the officer looks. I can see him. Hello. Not you. He's there. Come on, men. Fight for Sparta. For our empire. Fantastic. And he's dead. <laughs> Those were his last words, guys. We've got one over here. He'll, he'll take command. Oh, he's already dead. Fantastic. Tribunus Militum is going to leave now. Gonna go. How are we doing on this flank? Yeah, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Don't like the spread that they have here. These gaps. Can we adjust? Because they will probably fire Javi. So try and spread out a little bit, boys. Not even had to use my cavalry yet. I kind of want to make sure that we kill all these guys here. So they start running away. It's going to be a bit of a problem. So we'll get our cavalry this side just for now. In case they do run away. Because this cavalry is going to get shredded, surely. Guys, phalanx. Yeah. Equites died that side as well. Lucanian heavy infantry are a strong unit. Got to make sure we kill uh, Nias Cornelius Merula as well. Can we charge through the back of our pikemen or not? I don't know. Yeah, looks like we can. Right, boys. We got took no losses with that. So, kill them all, <laughs> please. Before they escape so we can take the city. Oh, they've escaped. A lot of them escaped. God damn it, bro. What have we got here to worry about then? Right. Let's deal with this Tribunus Militum. I believe in you. 
Spartan cavalry. I know you're not great, but surround him and kill him. Then we can charge these guys in the back or charge the Velites. Yeah, they're exhausted as well from running all this way. Fantastic. Glorious. Now he's dead. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Kill this Velite. Put it on double speed now. We don't need it to be faster than that, do we? Come on, boys. Get in the back of them. Should be it, yep. You guys chase them. Chase them. Wait. Yeah, there we are. You guys. I don't know whether you've got anyone to chase. So chase these Velites. And we'll speed it up. They're getting shot down as they try to escape. Uh, anyone else? I don't believe so. Fantastic. Ah, uh, so that's 20% of all this Cornelius Scipio's army left. So, look at the casualties they inflicted. So he won't fully die. Gaius Cornelius Merula. Yeah, look at that. They, they inflicted like no casualties. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, boys. Any experience? Oh, for archers. Oh, come on, I need my phalangites to get experience. Anyway, guys. I'll see you back on the uh, campaign map. Here we are, guys. And uh, the Romans have left us alone after that. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Romans. How the mighty have fallen, eh? Or what would have been mighty? They, they only had Italy in this game. They were a regional power at best. With, you know, hopes to become a uh, non-regional power. But those hopes have uh, firmly been abated. And looking at these three places left, they're all just <laughs> wooden walls. Right. Guys, I'm going to click this, okay? There's no point fighting this battle. Please don't tell me they're going to do 800 damage. Okay, 40. They ate 18. Oh, glorious. Ah, oh, well, that's at least okay. And Eretium. It's going to be our new recruitment hub, boys, in this area of the world. So, I mean, first things first. Hmm, what have they got here? Oh, Temple of Mars? No, thank you. Temple of Deimos and Phobos for the boys. Um, yeah, Deimos and Phobos. And also... Hmm, we need to build that ASAP, really. Because... Blacksmith and armorer over here. Let's go the Deimos and Phobos to keep them happy. Pannonia. So you, Agrigentum, can attack now. Problem is, we're, we're running low on crypt here. We've been expanding so quickly. Okay, Masana's, like, really happy now. Instantly went to pure, pure happiness. Can we come out? Uh... Yes, we can, actually. Fantastic. That's good to see. Uh, and let's get a temple. They have they don't have a temple in here. Oh, we've also got to get rid of that. I keep forgetting. Let's get rid of that. Um, and... Oh, yeah, we weren't going to attack Panormus because of the... Uh, the, the plague. <laughs> the plague. Let's get a temple of Ares. Got a large temple of Melkart, which is trade income. Honestly, that's probably the best thing that they can do for uh, for Syracuse. So I'm very happy with that choice. Rhodes has grown. Fantastic. Nice to see you growing, Rhodes. One of our richest settlements. The city of Cash right now, Rhodes is. Army found. So we have a Sanka and Byzantium. Greek city-states and Pergamon. So I'm going to... Assuming Greek city-states have uh, er erupted out of the Ptolemies in here somewhere. Faction announcements. They must get a gardener. Cool. That's pretty good. Uh, Uimon got an exotic slave as well. Cool. Megalopolis. So, um, 
just go through the temples now and choose which one we want. Aegean. I mean... Uh, yeah, we're getting to the point now where we're, we're kind of fully uh, upgraded. Do we have any corruption here? No. There's actually no real point. Let's go with Ares then. Uh, construction. Argos. Hmm. Go for that. Larissa. Hmm. Larissa's actually going down in terms of population right now. Go for the uh, the grain imports. Let's just do that. It only takes one turn as well. Ayada got the city barracks, so let's keep up building up there. San Mizegatuza got the large mines. Nice. Let's go for the public baths now. Make sure we don't get plague. Uh, Singwidunum. What do we want over here? Singwidunum. Hmm. Just go for the Shrine to Hera. Tylus upgraded and Piro Bridava. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we want to go for an awesome Temple of Apollo. Definitely. Piro Bridava. Go for the awesome Temple of Artemis. That's fine. Tyras. Okay, we got the Annexation 1. Uh, number Well, the four-turn one. So let's go for that one as well. It looks like they've already converted. Are we really? Wow. That was insanely quick. So we can use that as a... Uh, as a point over here to... Uh, to... Convert my... T oh, wait. They're all Greek already. Wow. Wow. That is, that is fantastic. Let's have a look. Which ones are not Greek? So all of these boys are Greek. A Sanka's Greek. A Quincum's Greek. Everywhere's Greek. It's mainly the Italic provinces then, I guess. Byzantium, are you Greek? Yes, everything is Greek. Over here, Tarentum is getting converted. Just about. No, it's no. It's just about not getting converted. Where else did we build it? Where else is pretty unhappy? Venusia, was it? Oh, it's close right now. Close. As soon as we've got one over here, it'll be a chain reaction, though. Yeah, 100%. Keep on uh, constructing. Malaventum. Uh, Malaventum, let's go for the public baths. It's Malaventum. Oh, Malaventum's still got this. Let's get rid of that. Make sure we don't have that in any of these provinces. Yeah, cool. Wait, Capua is also getting converted, potentially. Oh, it's equal. Uh, yeah, Capua. Let's uh, make sure that it's not equal anymore then. <laughs> get that. As soon as we get one, I say over here, as I say over here, they will all start converting because it, the reason why they're not converting currently, you can see, is neighboring regions. So Capua has three neighboring regions. Each neighboring region is a 5%. So um, each neighboring region adds 5% onto that. So... Tarentum over here, as we can see, four neighboring regions with italic means that we're not uh, converting to Greek yet, and we won't even when we get that upgrade. So we need to find one with less neighboring regions. Yeah, so uh, when Venusia's ready, they'll start converting, which will be fantastic. So, cool. Let's just make sure we're building everywhere. Yeah, we are. We are. Fantastic. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, so Bononia, you attacked Bononia. Do we have peeps? I oh, don't want to have many crypt here, do we? I want to move you out. Ancona to there. You're on low. How's Ancona still? Ah, Eretium, yeah. We're, uh, yeah, we destroyed the thing as well, didn't we? Let's make sure we did on some of these newer ones that we've acquired. Yes. Cleonaimon, of course, is an important one to do that too. Yeah, Capua, and then Capua. Yeah, we're fine. Brilliant. Cool. So, we'll go for Stalia. Again, just wooden walls. Oh, Rome is just crumbling to pieces. This is fantastic. Um, right then. So, we need to take Agrigentum so we can come through and take Lilibium. I do have an army on here, but it looks like we're not going to need them. Hmm. 
Or we could go for Illyria. Honestly, right now, we need some ships on this side. So let's build ships everywhere we can. Heist them. Build a couple. Eretium a couple as well, please. So we'll have a, a decent-sized navy on this side and regium. Uh, to ferry our troops across to the islands to take them back. Well, not take them back. We never had them in the first place. But take them for the glory of Greece. Oh, baby. We're getting the foundry. So let's uh, leave all these boys in here. It's three more turns. Four more turns. Leave all these boys and then we'll get our significant upgrade. Keep going in Athens as well. I know we're running a little low on money again. But I'm happy to keep training, honestly. Two of those, then two of these. Because these guys, even though there's only 25, they're insanely better than these guys. Like, insanely better. Um, by the Zora, we have those troops. So we need another army, really. If anything with you... Hmm. I mean, I don't think we need you. We don't, we don't need you. In fact, Kelly asked my boy. Where would we need you, though? Probably over here. So let's send you over that way. That's the best thing we can do. But we, what we do need, 100%, is a uh, Cryptia. So get back on there. You get in the docks. Uh, and I'll send two south. I'll send two north. And uh, we need to keep training them. Yeah. We are still training them. I should have added those extra ones in. Oh, whoopsie. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, Rome is pretty much on its last legs. Sicily is getting absolutely savaged. So, we're going to start with Agrigentum. Um, and do I risk auto-resolving this again? Because no one wants to see me fight some Cretan archers, Iberian skirmishers, Kytrati, and Libyan light infantry, right? So, yeah, only 80, 84. So, that's pretty good. New merchant. Oh, God. I, just go away. I don't want you. I don't want you. You're not wanted. Right, there we are. And this one actually does have uh, walls. <laughs> so did Agrigentum, actually. But, okay, we've been... Uh, we've not been fighting Carthage for too long. But they are crumbling. Oh, another awesome Temple of Melkart. I am quite happy about that. I'm happy on... Definitely on Sicily, with all these coastal regions. Temple of Melkart's very helpful. And you still got Blood Plague, have you, Panormus? Ah. Ah, well. So, as a consideration, can we get a Diplomat here? We can. And, and Agrigentum, can you recruit that? So, next turn, we're going to send a Diplomat on a boat to Carthage... And once we've taken Lilibium and Panormus, we'll sue for peace. That says it's owned by Syracuse. I can't see that that's the case. Surely not. There's a lot of devastation down there. As well as a huge amount of devastation in these Roman lands, as we can see. Probably caused by these boyos. But that's fine. I, 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 a devastation doesn't bother me right now. Early game, yes. Now, no. You're hidden. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, he's gone over there. It's a tiny army, though. It really doesn't matter. So we'll just keep on coming. There. Keep on coming for Mytilene. And we'll send the other boyo back as well. Ah, you guys. You guys are coming back for retraining. We lost our general as well, didn't we? So, Mayon... Rational beliefs. He's in the pink. I mean, you're not brilliant as either. Overprotective nanny. <laughs> uh, but midi loss is a bit old. And you're 17. So I think we can make you into a good general. Or do we go for... Yeah, I get to go for pity tease. Pity tease. So if we're not going to make Mayon into a general... We might as well send him off to govern. So, retrain those boys. Uh, actually, no. 
Midilos will send to govern. Where to govern, though? There's lots of places you can go. Um, Argadava would be good. Hmm. Midilos. So we got one in Thomas. We do. Olus as well. Uh, well, the only place is really across the water, isn't it? So we'll send you back there and hopefully we can get you across the water to go and govern maybe, say, Capua or something like that. A lot of these are large cities, so it's worth sending someone to govern them. Tarentum's a big city. I think we send you there. A lot of Cryptia in Tarentum as well. Right then, well, let's, uh, let's, I think... Let's end the turn. Let's uh, end the turn and see what happens. I was going to say, we're at the end of the episode now, but we can end the turn and see what happens. Um, hopefully we don't get attacked, because <laughs> then I'll have to end the episode on one of those attacks again. Oh, we are. Yeah, oh, well, it's a, this script here. I forget about you, my friend. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. I'm just leaving you out. Hanging you out to dry. Wait, they, are they, they left the siege at Aquincum again. Ah, oh, Suebi, Suebi, Suebi. What is what is their problem? They keep on attacking and then stopping attacking. But there's no, like, big armies around for them to worry about. Hmm. So I think that northern border honestly needs two defensive armies. So I think the next army we create will go up to that border. 39, no thank you. Too old. Send me someone younger, please. Salon is upgraded as well. Very nice. Oh, I forgot about Byzantium as well. Lots of uh, new faction announcements. Fantastic. Yeah, money is becoming tight again. So let's go through another. Go through another stage of building uh, monetary buildings. Uh, none of these are actually less good. Let's just go for that. Rhodes is upgrading. Orchomenos. Anything monetarily wise? No. Trying to hear her though. Uh, Larissa got the grain imports. Let's go for that. Oiskos. Let's go for the Great Agora. Uh, Singridunum. Just go through those uh, temples. A Quincum. Go for that. Croton, let's go for level 4, of course. Regium, level 4, sorry, level 2. Regium got the large stone wall. Uh, I think the dockyard is what we want at Regium. Let's get that trade going. Pystum, let's go for the... I mean, they chose Deimos and Phobos here, but it's really not something we want. I'll go for the baths there. Syracuse, you can go Deimos and Phobos. Aretium. Uh, well, I'm building that. Aretium's all the, uh, the precursors. Not the precursors, the, uh, the repairs. So, you, Cryptia, send you up. You need to go to Benonia and Stalia next turn. Getting a bit of a navy going down here. As you can see. And you don't need to be here anymore, Nikandros, do you? Diplomat on the boat. This is a sacrificial boat. It doesn't matter if I can't get it back. Oh, it does. Yeah, we do get it back. Nice. See what they got at Carthage, shall we? Ah, some good units. Some Sacred Band and African Infantry and Lonkaforoi. All very good units. Um... I mean, Carthage would be a nice jewel in our crown, wouldn't it? But it just opens ourselves up to being attacked so soon that it's it's pointless. I'd, I want to take Sicily and leave the Carthaginians to their own fate. They can do what they want. They haven't even taken out the uh, Massilia yet. So they are being foolish, of course. <laughs> foolish boyos. Uh, you should move, shouldn't you? All right, let's go for Mytilene. Four of those and that. That's perfect. Where's my army? You guys go and deal with them. 
Pella, let's keep retraining. And this army's messed up, so we need to remember that we have to change some stuff around in this army. It's pretty messed up. Um, and we will use Pidites. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Pretty good. And he's not really been doing much. Uh, we'll get you across, Midilos. You were a general. We have demoted you from that rank, unfortunately, for you. Where shall you govern? I think Capua. Go for Capua. Capua is always good. We have a uh, we have a diplomat in Capua. Oh, let's uh, let's go talk to Massilia then. Massalia, sorry. Cool. Well, guys, I think we're going to end the episode there. Plenty done. Taken uh, Syracuse, Agrigentum. We're going to take Panormus soon and Lilibium. Hopefully, find peace with the Carthaginians. And we're also going to end the existence of the despicable, the dastardly, the dangerous Romans. I can't, that third one, I couldn't think of another word beginning with D, really. <laughs> so, but anyway, guys, uh, please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And once again, thank you for watching. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you again on the next video.